Philippines. So, so how, how did you get the money to start all this business? I just told you I started my business at the age of 14. Um, at the age of? 14, in London. You told me, are you not lying? Are you being truthful to me? My first company... No, no, wait. You have <laughs> just stated emphatically that you started business at age 17. Yeah, but, yes. Well, then first, when I took you around, you have... Uh, the, first, the first building I occupied was at age of 17. 14 years of age. Hello. What? Talking about what you do for your living. I'm a real estate developer. And when I was in London, hello, I did please, build in the maintenance. Please, 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 please. <coughs> you have made your point clear to me that you started business at age 17. So I'm surprised that you are telling me now at age 14. Okay. At age 14, you should be in school. What business are you at age 14? When? Where? Where were you doing that business at age 14? Okay. Okay. Where? In London. London. It's not like Ghana here. There's a lot of opportunities. 14 years. There. You were yes. doing business? Yes. Were you not in school? Yes. And you were doing business? Yes. And you, you, you have a job? I had a job. At, yes, I had a job at the age of 10. I had a job at the age of 11. I've always been working, always been a business. Always. <coughs> at the age of 10, you were working? You are always allowed to do some type of work, paper around. You can also go and do some uh, cleaning work. I have been doing that. As of now, I realize the situation we're in. So I have no more comment to talk about it. Do you have any association with cyber crime? No, sir. Have you ever done that before? No, sir. Do you have any friend who is into that? No, sir. Are you sure? I am 100% positive. Sir. Where did you get your weapons? The two pump action guns. Where did you get them? It's a policeman called Mr. Konani, he's the head of the CID department. And he was the one that. Mr. Out. Who? Konani. Mr. Koloni. Kalani. Mr. Kalami. Yes, sir. He gave you the weapon? Yes, sir. At where? At Mamprebi Police Station. Mamprebi Police Station? Yes, sir. That's why he gave it to you? Yes, sir. Due to the fact of people came to rob our house in 2008. Wait, wait. Uh, Mr. Kalani gave you the, the weapons. We, after the robbery took place at our house in 2008, it happened to us. We asked in Premier Protection. Uh, hello, hello. I just want to establish the basis. Uh? So, um, I greet you guys. And I hope that you guys open your ears when you are listening to this uh, man talks. Yeah, it's a killer now. He killed somebody. And so the background of this guy is that he's from the UK, he's a former uh, Special Forces from the British Army. His mama is also like a police um, lady and I think after the force he was a little bit local because most of them when they come from war they are a little bit unstable. So he came to Ghana to relax or whatever to live there. And when he came, he had like uh, the property from his mom and he rented that property. So that is what, that is where the, the whole thing happened. And they said that uh, the guy he killed said that the property was too small and he wanted to move. And he told him that after two years, because in Ghana you rent for two years. And when it's uh, two years is done, he wants him out. So that is what happened. So, so when 24th happened, instead of um, let the person move out, he came and then kill him. So I think 24th, the, the reason why he killed him 24th is because the contract is still there. 25th is the last day. So, so um, what I got from the other people is that they were trying to move and then he, uh, he came and then I think they have like an uh, argument and then he, he pulled a gun and killed him. But the reason why the guy had a gun is because in 2008 somebody came and robbed him and from that a policeman gave him like a pistol, two pistol. So he named the uh, person too. And, but I think the police question him did a bad job, you know. He didn't let him talk. He was cutting off. 
we he only spoke like for like one minute and what i got from it is that he said that in britain yeah a little bit history of uh, because the guy asked him how did he got all his money and so but he didn't let him uh, speak so that's the only thing we got from him is like he started working at the age of uh, 10 years old and the police officer didn't believe him because at the age of 10 you can work yes you can work a lot of children have started when they were like uh, small babies like six five whatever they started selling that uh, candies or that kind of stuff even here in the Netherlands when it's like King's Day you have a king and when it's uh, when a king is birthday when a king has his birthday you can sell like your toys so that is also like working at the age of whatever so you can uh, put on your how do you get money because a lot of kids they make a lot of money with the kids they, they sell a lot of the um, uh, toys and they make a lot of money and with that money you, they can put aside maybe buy things or something and so he said like at the age of uh, 14 he started his own company so it can be anything can be like maybe selling goods maybe has a, a own shop or something you can do because there's a kid he, he was like nine years old he was like selling like candies and right now he has his own shop his businessman that kind of stuff so it's can all kind of all those things can happen he he started with like buying like candy with like one pound then he wrapped it nicely and then he sell it off so yeah all this thing can be done you also have a lot of uh, children that are doing like great things they know how to sell they know what they are doing and they are making lots of money so at the age of 10 5 it doesn't really matter some kids can make a lot of money and then he said at the age of 17 then he started then he has his own property like a building property but the guy the police uh, guy didn't believe him anything what he said he said of maybe he was lying and then he talked about the um, internet fraud thing that maybe he has like friends that has like doing like internet fraud and yeah that is what I got from the guy does he doesn't know anything the policeman he should have let the guy speak and incriminate himself it's better to let the person talk and incriminate the person that is why in the end he said he doesn't want to speak anymore and then the police officer said okay so do you have somebody that doing like internet fraud or that kind of stuff so he was trying to tell the policeman but then he find out that the police officer didn't want to listen so then he was trying to cut it off so you can see even that he was like hmm you know it was like this uh, this this police must a moron i'm trying to tell him the truth but he doesn't want to listen to it so you can see it in the video you can see when he's talking you can see that it's like hmm, this guy's stupid he doesn't want to listen to what i'm saying so that is what i got from it and i think a lot of people so have I was reading the comments and a lot of people think it's not true there was even a guy from like um, Britain he said it's not true but this guy you know some people that live in Britain they don't know what they're talking about and then what there was a lot of people were saying that yes yeah it's lie because at the age of 10 you cannot work but if you see people on the street if you come to Ghana you see small children selling f uh, food are those people not children you understand so I don't understand why a lot of people are making a loss yes he killed somebody but at the age of 10 you can still work you can still go to school and like that the only time they will say that you can work is when you are doing too much work and don't go to school so and sometimes you can even get like um, homeschooling so everything is possible and the guy was telling the truth about what he did as a child that one i believe but the story about why he killed the musician 
and that kind of stuff. That one, I don't know. I think it's maybe the guy said that one of his friends said that um, he asked the musician if he can uh, uh, maybe um, give him some uh, girls and it didn't go well. So that was that is what the guy said, but I don't know what really happened. I think it has something to do with uh, um, the house that because he wanted to leave and he came and they were like um, talking and then yeah he killed him he's going to uh, going to prison for like 20 years in Ghana and people are talking about why not like death penalty and that kind of stuff because he's a musician they want death penalty can't believe it but if it was like a normal person they would say yes you know so that is what I got from it and all the comments that I was reading. A lot of people don't understand the whole 10 years old and 14 years old. They don't understand that maybe it's possible. So that is what I hope that you like it. And if you like it, yeah, come and join and it will shine.